Hello friends and welcome back to my channel with Reading With You. Today's book is Paddington's Price Picture by Michael Bond, illustrated by R. W. Ellie. One morning, Miss Brown sent Paddington to the market to buy some oranges. Paddington was well known in the market. The traders always saved their best fruit for him, and he always thanked them for it. When he was done shopping, Paddington visited his friend, Mr. Groover. Mr. Groover's store was filled with old things, but he always had something new to show Paddington. Mr. Groover was very busy. He was washing a painting. On one half, Paddington saw a picture of a boat. On the other half, Paddington saw what looked like a hat. Just you wait, said Mr. Groover. There's more to come. I've never seen a picture like this before, said Paddington. That's because one picture is hidden under another, Mr. Groover said. Paddington had a great idea. He hurried home as fast as his legs would carry him. Paddington looked for the picture Mr. Brown had been painting. He wondered if this one had another picture under it too. Paddington began to clean. The boats and blue sky disappeared, but there was nothing underneath. The beautiful picture was now a stormy sea. Paddington decided to fix it. He found some brushes and an old box of paints. Then Paddington set to work. He started to paint the boats and the lake. He carefully filled in the spots he had cleaned. Paddington stepped back to look at his work. There was no lake, there were no boats. He reached for the paints and began again. At dinner that evening, Paddington was covered in orange spots. I hope you're not getting sick, said Miss Brown. She sent him to bed early just in case. The next morning, everyone was happy to see that Paddington's spots were gone. I have news, said Mr. Brown. I have entered a painting contest. You must all come to the show. The art show began. The judges looked at all the paintings. Mr. Brown loved painting, but he had never won a prize. This could be it, he said. The whole family was excited. The judges announced the winner. It was Mr. Brown, but Mr. Brown looked confused. This is not my painting, said Mr. Brown. There must be some mistake. Paddington's painting on Mr. Brown's canvas won first prize. The judges showed Mr. Brown his name written on the back. Mr. Brown accepted his prize. I think I will donate my prize to the Home for Retired Bears in Peru, he said. Paddington beamed. My Aunt Lucy will be pleased. She likes happy endings.
Don't we all, said Miss Bird. That's all for today, friends. And if you like this book just as much as I did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. And remember, to support the author, go ahead and purchase this book. Bye.